This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 5, this is Section 1, Releasing the Pain of the Past. Hi, David. Thank you for your kind words. I had wanted to ask a question when we saw you, but felt it was not appropriate and would be too difficult to ask. I will try and phrase the question to you without a long, drawn-out story. As a child, I was raised in a family that was involved in a ritualistic organization. People would call it a satanic cult. Talk about the ugliness of the ego. It was personified in these people. All the horrors of abuse, torture, etc. were my life growing up on a daily basis. I won't get into the details. My mother and most of the extended family are practicing to this day. My brother is now also involved with them. My father killed himself when I was ten. I believe it was because he could not handle the guilt. I stopped all contact with them six years ago, once I remembered they were involved in this. I have gone through extensive therapy, which has been ongoing for the past 18 years. I stopped having memories of the events and abuse that took place about three years ago. My journey has been incredible and despite the obvious excruciating pain of surviving this as a child and reliving it through therapy to heal, I would not change my life. It has made me a strong person and I know I chose my life. I could not have survived this experience and did pass over twice and was brought back at the ages of 7 and 17 at the hands of my mother. I know all this has a purpose. I know I chose this life and that God is with me every step of the way. Yet the fear of my mother and the things that were done to me seem so deep and affect so many areas of my life. I do not know how to heal what feels like a humongous, all-consuming fear and guilt within me. I have even had a holy instant of knowing my mother is my teacher and that she did nothing to me. But I am still afraid of her on what seems to be almost a cellular level. Throughout the 18 years, I have prayed and worked on forgiveness, asking for the grace to forgive her. But I know that as long as I am afraid of her, I have not forgiven her. Consequently, this fear affects every area of my life. I cannot seem to get past it. Ultimately, it is a fear of God and the guilt of the separation. Is there anything you might be able to tell me to help me heal this? I do not want this to rule my life anymore and I do not want to give any power away to this anymore. My mother is in a horribly dark place and cannot experience God's love. She is so shut down. It is painful to be cut off from all that part of the family. But I have an incredible family with my husband and children and I feel very blessed. Studying the Course has been my greatest blessing and healing. 
I do not know if this makes any sense to you. It is always on my mind and I feel like my life is defined by it, even though I know that it is not true. On this level, as a human being, it is a huge forgiveness lesson and one I want to get. Anything you can tell me would be greatly appreciated. Thank you again for all of the blessings you give with your work for God. Beloved one, though your experiences and memories were very intense, you have a more accurate sense of the madness and depth of insanity of the ego. This has helped give you an impetus and calling to forgive the illusion and recognize the truth. The intensity is always a motivator to find another way of perceiving and this disillusionment is always a helpful first step toward transcending the ego. Now the inner healing work must be nurtured and it is very helpful to focus on all you have to be grateful for. The biological family was just a starting point or launching pad for the glorious experience of communion with God to come. Be grateful that through the acting out of the ego, the mind did reach a turning point and has begun the inner journey to healing and wholeness. Trust that as you accept the correction for the error, everyone will be freed with you. When perception is healed, all is forgiven. Dear David, thank you. Your response brought tears to my eyes and peace to my heart. I know my forgiveness will also release all those I hold on to as hurting me. I wish peace for them and peace for me. Thank you for reminding me of that. I know my experience will help someone else. I have had the opportunity to share and help someone heal that had the same experience. That was the most peaceful feeling. To know there is a reason I chose my life, even if it was just giving one person the hope that we can do anything and survive anything with the love and guidance of God. <laughs>